there is a lot of changes in the upcoming months to PvP in Guild Wars 2, and it's kind of surprising, as PvP is not really an insanely popular game mode in Guild Wars 2. And it makes me think, is Arena trying to bring back PvP to be a, may I even say it, a corner stored game mode of the game? Let's talk about it. Subscribe to the channel for more content of this. Go to my Ko-Fi if you want to support me. And let's get into it. So, PP has been an important part of Guild Wars 2 since its inception. Um, it was actually, you know, there used to be, unironically, um, tournaments about it. It was supposed to be an eSport tournament with a lot of money. It didn't really work out for multiple reasons. And, you know, you can actually watch this Nerd Slayer video where he actually talks about it when he was competing in Guild Wars 2. PP and one of the reasons, you know, with all the reasons though I didn't work out in the end. Uh, it's a very interesting video and it gives you a good a, a good idea of how important it was. The game also was kind of made with PP in mind. All the, the combat system is as flexible as it is for a reason, right? It is because, well, they wanted PP to be very good at it. Uh, same thing uh, goes for something like Warper's World. Uh, what result is also very important, and of course, there's a lot of PP in there as well. Um, and it really seems like they're really trying their best to not only get World of World, a lot of updates and people playing them, uh, but also PP. Like you can see here, they're actually putting two new um, amulets for uh, PP for people to have, you know, probably more options in terms of builds, but also options that are not as toxic and hard to play against. And you know, the meta not being insanely bursty. Uh, also runes, and they're also uh, giving you more incentives to play PvP as well. More Ascended Armor and Weapons, so it's easier to gear up for new players. Uh, karma resources, so you can actually use your Karma that a lot of people have to way too much of them, um, into them, uh, into PvP, so they can, you know, get something out of it, right? Uh, and also, they're adding another, well, first of all, they already gave uh, us some titles. Uh, the more you play PvP, uh, this depending on the type of class you play and the more people you the, the more games you play you'll get different titles if you're a mage if you're an elementalist i guess you'll become from ch from magus from champion magus from fabled to legendary to ultimate magus with the most amount of uh of wins right and they're really putting a lot of effort into it they are putting another one another title right now as well that has a different color if you win 10000 rated arena games which is actually very cool. They're also changing the way that tournaments, daily ATs work. So you, if you guys don't know, we have a bit of a, here is, let me see here, PP. There's these, these things called uh, tournaments. Uh, they're automated, so you can just go in here and enroll every three hours, and you'll be able to get some gold and some good currencies to, you know, be worth doing this in the first place. And of course, they're make, making some changes, so more people go into them. They're making them so the daily ones are a bit, you know, more far apart, so everyone goes into the same one, so we have a better balance as well, and more people. And of course, they're also making a weekly, um, a weekly incentive for you to go and do it on Sundays, where a lot of people can actually play. So you know, they go into the tournaments and play uh, for rewards. They also bring in tournaments of legends that gives you a legendary if you win, in uh, two times a year. Uh, all of these things uh, combining into a good system that will. Um, incentivize people to play more PP. They're also fixing Jin's Dominion map as it's honestly a pretty bad map for PP and one of the least liked, if not the most least liked, uh, <laughs> uh, in July 16 as well. So they can actually get something, uh, you know, the people that play PP feel like they're being heard and of course also the fact that they are gonna be um, updating the mode from now on. And that makes me think that they actually want PP to work. All these things, yeah, maybe the daily tournaments and Tournament of Legends, uh, these things are not that big of a deal to, think, to do, but fixing a map, changing the mechanic of the map and the map of objective, that is a good amount of effort for a game mode that is not really played that much. So why are they doing this? PvP is a game mode that is kind of sandboxy. Most of the content comes from people playing it, making tournaments about it, talking about it, and making builds, stuff like this. And because Guild Wars 2 is such a fun game in terms of PvP and also into making builds, it just creates a lot of content for people, even if ArenaNet is not really working on it. There really isn't a bad... It's you. Even if you just put a little bit of effort into it, there's going to be a lot of um, people that are going to get a lot of content out of it. And that is a very good idea to give 
you know, put the foundation of everything that PvP needs for you to just thrive by itself. Of course, things like balance, um, updates, and more weapons and stuff like this will make PvP feel more exciting as well. But those things are things that you're going to end up developing for other game modes regardless. So by putting the foundations of the game mode well established, guess what? You have a you can probably bring a, a game mode that is healthy and just plays by itself and people enjoy it, right? PB has kind of been dying for a long time uh, because there's nothing really happening. There's no real reason for you to invest yourself into it. And these things might actually bring a little bit of that energy back. Will it just fix everything? Probably not. Um, but the fact that they're putting this effort in, it sounds like they want to try and do it. And I think it's because a lot of the people that actually play the game really like PvP. Uh, and they think it's they think it's healthy for the game. And they don't want uh, to abandon it. And it will be super easy to abandon it. Like, like there's just not that many people playing it. Views um, are kind of long. Even with the Wizards Vault uh, being a heavy incentive to do PvP in the first place. You know, the population is just not that big. So, but the reason... But then wanting to do it makes that they really care about it. And I get it. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't seem like they really care as, you know, uh, there doesn't seem to be that many updates to the game mode. But I truly, truly think that if they really didn't care, we would not get any type of balance updates out of PP. Like, fuck, even in, in WoW, a game that is way more successful than WoW, than the Givers 2, um, they had a long time where they didn't get anything out of PvP. And people were essentially just make fun of it because it's just, no, 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 it's just nothing, right? Um, and the fact that they are actually putting effort into it makes me think that they really, really do care. Uh, especially with these changes. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like PvP because they don't like playing game modes that can become toxic because life's be real. Any PvP game in you know, ever is going to be toxic because people are going to be fighting against each other. And if one person wins, the other person loses. And that means people will become... They're not going to they're not gonna be happy about that one. And I do, and I actually do think that ArenaNet, if they want to invest more into PvP, they're also going to have to invest into better ways of punishing AFK players uh, and stuff like this. And also, you know, toxic players. But... They do seem like they want to do it. And I am honestly pretty happy. As I've always loved PvP. It's one of the th first things that I did in this game with my friends. And um, I really hope that it works out. Um, will it? Who knows? It's honestly a big mystery. Uh, but I'm sure that we'll see when these changes come out. And I'm very happy to try out that PvP rush that they're going to do on July as well. Uh, I think it's a very good idea to pair that up with all of these good changes that PP is getting. So, tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think it's no, it's never going to happen. It's just Scopium. Um, I actually don't really care. If PP dies, eh, I don't really play it that much. And of course, I am mainly a PvE player anyways. But I would really love it to for it to succeed. So, well, who knows? Subscribe to the channel for more content. Tell me what you guys think. Go to my coffee if you want to support me. Go to my twitch.tv slash dance with us to watch me live. And see you guys in my Discord if you want to hang out. See you guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.